Are you an avid gamer or friends with someone who is? You might want to check out these facts about people who game online regularly, or maybe you'll be able to relate to them yourself. We're often told not to talk to strangers, but a recent government survey found that it's happening more than we think. A third of Singaporean youth respondents said in a poll that they play games with strangers sometimes or frequently. It even found that 14% of the youths took that relationship outside of gaming and sometimes even taking it offline. It could start with a chat about non-gaming related topics, sharing personal information, to meeting the stranger in person blurring the lines between reality and the virtual world. Yikes, sounds a bit dangerous. The survey by the Ministry of Communications and Information also found that about 1 in 5 teen gamers feel that they have been bullied in video games by other players. And almost half of the gamers who got bullied did not take any action and only a small minority spoke to their parents about it. Additionally, more than a third of these gamers have also come across vulgarities online or violent content in games. This is even more common in first-person shooter games. This door-to-door -door survey was conducted between 2022 and 2023 among 810 Singaporean youths between 10 and 18 years old who played online games at least once a month. Therefore, it is important, especially for parents, to be aware of their child's gaming activities. MCI has rolled out a few tools to help parents pay more attention to their children's online activities. Authorities will soon gradually introduce a series of bite-sized guides to help parents manage their child's screen use and develop better online habits. These include guides on a child's first smartphone and social media account. For more information on these guides, head over to MCI's website. Stay safe online.